Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for a brand new mini series, Strangerville. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so before we get started on our little introduction here, let me go ahead and introduce myself in case we have any new subscribers. My name is Carissa. You can call me Kari, Kari Sims, Car, um, whatever your little heart desires, but I am a major Sim nerd, Sim fan, have been since I was itty bitty, but anyways, if you enjoy The Sims, subscribe to my channel if you like what you see i like to play the sims 2 sometimes sims 3 sims 4 speed builds all things sims so we have a good time here on this channel but anyways yeah so i am freaking hyped so excited about this game pack strangerville i have been watching the countdown ever since i woke up this morning and um yeah it's here and we're about to hop in and explore it now i say this is a mini series because from what i've seen from game changer that had early access i've seen a lot of them say that depending on how consistently you play the game um it doesn't take long to accomplish the strangerville mystery so i don't imagine that it would take a long time i still kind of want to do a little bit of storytelling because i do really enjoy storytelling in the sims 4 so we're going to do a little bit of you know storytelling with erin kennedy our sim here and kind of just see how her life goes but the main focus and the main priority is finding out what this strangerville epidemic crazy stuff going on is so we're going to explore we're going to have fun and yeah i'm excited about it so anyways let me introduce you to our sim the sim that we are going to be featuring in this little mini series is miss erin kennedy so Erin Kennedy, I did a recreation of her. For those of you who are not familiar, I have a series on my channel, Sims 3 to Sims 4, where I recreate the Sims 3 families and their homes from the Sims 3 and the Sims 4. I know that sounds like a mouthful and very confusing, but basically Erin Kennedy is a Sim from the Sims 3, and she is a military woman. So when I was creating her, it was about the time that they announced Strangerville, and I was like, hmm, you know I might use her might not but I kind of fell in love with her and her house and I decided that I'm going to use her for this mini series but a little thing that I did different I ended up aging her down because originally in my first recreation of her she is a adult so if you was to download her from the gallery she is an adult because that's what she was in the sims 3 but I wanted to kind of take her back to a young adult kind of like the early days of her military career life, kind of, you know, her starting out, imagine she's, you know, about 22, 23 years old, and she is just kind of starting out on the military career, so I did kind of promote her up to level two, so she is a private fourth class. I was just really excited to play with the military career, and I'm kind of scared, kind of nervous, because I don't really know if her being in the military career is going to have her uh, kind of go nuts like all these other sims around here but the way I think the way I'm thinking this story went along is that all right obviously she's in the military so she's used to you know picking up and moving around and she got a call and was like hey you know there's some stuff going on Strangerville they need more they need more military recruits so we're sending you so she was like okay yeah cool fine so she comes to Strangerville she's been here maybe a week and she is noticing that something is freaking weird there is like something going on here and I imagine that you know because it's kind of um, kind of around the little area 51 conspiracy I imagine that the military is trying to cover the secret it's kind of where the source of everything's going on the lab and everything but I think that Erin is a very brave sim and that she is very curious and she's not going to be okay with what's going on and she's going to find out what's going on <laughs> behind you know her job's back I don't think that they would be saying hey go find out what's going on but behind closed doors she's going to sneak around and she's going to kind of get to the bottom of it so that's kind of the story I'm hoping <laughs> we kind of follow I'm not really sure how this whole strangerville stuff works but a little bit more about her her traits she is a loner she is unflirty active and she has the home turf aspiration because I did give her the new strangerville mystery lifetime aspiration so we need to complete this while we're here in strangerville so we can get to the bottom and everything. And here's her house. 
um, before we hop into the gameplay real quick. This is our last little introduction. I'm going to give you a tour of our house because this is a recreation of our house from The Sims 3. And when I was building the house, I was like, you know, I don't know if it's going to fit in with the aesthetic of Strangerville. I hadn't seen any early access videos. Didn't know what the town looked like. Y'all, does this house not fit in perfectly? I mean, perfectly. So I had to use it. And it's really cute, really quaint, perfect for her. So you come in, you have a little entryway, the living room, dining room, kitchen, bathroom, little hallway with her laundry. And this is her bedroom here. And um, I did give her this little listening device that came with Strangerville, just because I imagined that she would need it eventually. And I also gave her a laptop, which is currently in her inventory. So that's really cool. And also, um, I did give her a dog <laughs> because when I was recreating her in my Sims 3 to Sims 4 series, I was like, you know what? I imagine that this girl will be very lonely, and if I was to play her, I would give her a dog. So I did. I gave her a dog, and his name is Kane. He is a German Shepherd, so he's her little protector and her friend, so she won't be as lonely. But yeah, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into the gameplay because I am ecstatic. Um, I'm playing a little Simsies save file by the way but it's currently flower fest day and uh, i'm not really studying flower fest to be honest seasons you are old news i'm just kidding but for real um <laughs> not studying it so i had her do like a little egg hunt just so she doesn't have like a terrible holiday i'm assuming the flower bunny is going to come around we may talk to him if we see him but like i said not really studying <laughs> not really studying the flower bunny right now because Oh, here he, speaking of the devil, there he goes. Oh, look at this place. It's so pretty. So I have explicitly been trying my daggum hardest to not watch any LPs <laughs> of my favorite simmers with their early access because I wanted to kind of explore it myself and not have any spoilers. So that is why. But anyways, oh, you can do a military introduction? Cool, but let's just kind of like... Oh, okay, see, there we go. We interacted with him, so she's going to have a great holiday. So, with that being said, I was hoping the welcome wagon would come and kind of check us out here, but looks like maybe not. Who do we have here? Cat Fields. She's not a Strangerville resident. I want to talk to a Strangerville resident. Oh, here we go. Is this a Strangerville resident? Conspiracy theorist. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to come to her and we're going to talk about Strangerville um, just because she's kind of getting a little bit curious, like I said, about what's going on. So that's also one of the things that we need to do for our little aspiration meter here. So let's go ahead and kind of get started with this, this whole investigation oh, wow. discovery thing. And she says, gotcha. I have heard there's some kind of secret lab in the crater outside of town. Oh, okay. Interesting. She's like, yeah, I know about that. You know, low-key, she's not telling her, but she's like, yeah, I'm in the military, but like, what else do you know? <laughs> Is there any other interactions? Um, any give? No. Okay, I don't see anything else. I was hoping somebody would give me a little bit more information. Oh, we can ask her. <laughs> We're just, hi, how are you? So, what's, what's going on? <laughs> So we're gonna, oh, military. oh, this is so cool seeing all these different type of sims going on. Okay, so she says there's some kind of cover up going on. I've been listening in on the military people at that local bar to see if I can figure anything out. So Erin kind of has to stay low key because um, obviously she is in the military and the military is covering it up. So she does not want to get caught. So. It looks like Jaden Watkins is a military lieutenant or military personnel, so she's going to greet him. And let's ask him. Let's just see what the military people have to say out of curiosity. Um, are they going to say, you know, vague give us a vague answer or what? He said, have you been to the secret lab yet, soldier? If you're rank 5 or above, you can use a computer to requisition a key card to restricted areas. Oh, okay, so, okay, that just go ahead and tells me that we're going to have to do some grinding, <laughs> or I may have to cheat and level her up to at least level 5, because I know for a fact that we're probably going to need that key card to get to restricted areas, obviously, um, and we're only level 2 right now, so, um... <laughs> Yeah, we. I may be cheating that, because, I mean, I, I'm just ready. <laughs> but we're just going to see. Ooh, oh, my 
gosh, like I, I'm just getting the intel from everybody. Let's give a friendly introduction. The, the hair. The hair. Why why can't they just have normal colored hair? Does that bother anybody else or is it just me? I just don't like the colored hair. It's just weird. <laughs> but anyways, let's ask him since he works in the secret lab. He's a scientist. Let's see what he has to say. I'm just trying to figure out, you know, do they have different answers? So obviously the conspiracy theorists are like, yeah, there's something going on. Like I've been listening in. The military's like, yeah, you know, have you, have you researched it yourself? Giving us a little bit of advice on how to do that. So let's see what the scientists are saying since so it is their secret lab. I worked at the secret lab in the crater until recently. Now my attention is on the town itself. Oh, okay. I wonder if he found out what's going on and he's trying to figure it out too. I don't know, y'all. This is like crazy. We're all over here like, what's going on? Like, shoot. <laughs> this is so exciting. I love this. I love this. I don't know what to do. Okay. I thought somebody was going to like give me some advice on what to do next, but I have no idea where to start. Uh, I guess we would have to visit the secret lab. Um, where is the curio station? There isn't there like, um, is that what it's called? Where is it at? The, the cute little guy conspiracy theorist you know he sells the bugs and and different stuff where is he located i imagine that he would be somewhere around here let me see if i can find him all right so i literally could not find this little curio thing or whatever it is and um i had to go to a youtube video that somebody had recorded and i was like because somebody has went to this i had to find out where it was oh my god hold up oh my god okay Woo, okay, so on our journey, by the way, it's way over here. Like, no wonder I couldn't find it. But, okay, we just <laughs> creeped upon uh, something strange happening. So, this is her first instance of seeing this. You know, she's heard about it, but she's like, oh, wow. So, let's try to talk to him. She's, <laughs> look at her face. She is like, oh, my God, I don't know what's going on. She's feeling a little tense because she is a loner. But we're trying to talk to him. <gasps> oh, that is so creepy. Water is love. Water is lo what? <laughs> Water is I what? Life. Water is love. Water is life. Okay. Um. Let's snap him out of it. I don't know what that is, but she's like, my head hurts. What the hell? Oh, she's literally slapping him silly. Okay. So. Wow, that worked. Wow. So he's like snapped out of it. So is this something you could snap in and snap? snap out of he was looking around kind of like paranoid but let's ask him about strangerville see what he has to say because now he's actually completely normal i have noticed a lot more scientists at the local library you should check it out okay so maybe we should visit the library after now maybe we need to grab something to eat maybe tomorrow's sunday so we don't have work so maybe we can do a little bit digging around at the library tomorrow but okay well, I mean, I don't know what, what else. Can we ask him anything else? Let's ask him about his career. Be like, well, I mean, what do you do? <laughs> We're just, you know. Oh, this is Ted Roswell. <gasps> okay, so Ted Roswell. Okay, so Ted Roswell. Sorry, I'm like, what? Freaking out. He is the mayor of the town. And he is like the main reason that the scientist lab has come around. He's the main reason, I'm pretty sure, of a lot of this crazy stuff happening. So interesting that we get to meet Ted. But did he tell us what his career was? Oh, he's saying unemployed. Oh, I guess he doesn't have the formal title as the mayor, but anyways, all right, Ted, it was nice talking to you. Oh, my God, they have sn snakes, which, well, I mean, I've seen snakes in Jungle Adventures, but kind of caught me off guard there. But anyways, let's come over here, continue on to buy some curio items. That was interesting. She is definitely intrigued now. She is like, okay, I have to find out what is going on. So, what should we buy? We can buy a sim bug. Let's go ahead and buy one of those. We may have to come back and get more. I don't know who we're going to use it on, but I'm assuming that eventually we are going to need one. Ooh, we have some lava lamps. I'm going to buy a lava lamp because that's really cool. Oh, Untold Mysteries of Strangeville. Let's buy that book and we'll have her kind of uh, dig into that in her spare time. But what else do we have? Um, just a bunch of little souvenir stuff. So 
Anyways, let's just go ahead and purchase that and let's introduce ourselves to the infamous, uh, what's his name? Erwin? Isn't it? Yeah, Erwin Prize. So let's introduce ourselves to him since, you know, we've seen him in the trailer and most everybody's familiar with him. He is so cute, but I feel like he is a big conspiracy theorist. So let's find out. Let's talk about Strangerville with him and see what he has to say. Have you been noticing those bizarre plants popping up around town? You best keep your distance from them. The local scientists have been running tests on them. Good to know, Erwin. Like, I knew talking to you was a good idea because I have been wondering ever since, you know, I have watched some people's early access videos and they're like, oh, look at these plants. I've been wondering what is up with those plants? Like, should I be, should I be worried? <laughs> you know, is this something I need to avoid? Do I want to go pick it? Is it going to... Uh, mess me up like I wonder if the plants have anything to do with why people are going crazy so he said to avoid them right yeah so I think I'm going to take his advice and stay away from them because I would hate to ruin my whole storyline um, with her being the one that gets freaking what is it called like hypnotized I don't we don't even know what's going on here but anyways I'm going to cook some dinner I'm going to cook some uh, it looks like we don't have any we have no cooking skill, great. So we're just gonna have a family size of salad. Um, poor, poor little Kane. We just kind of like left him <laughs> all day doing some sleuthing around. But we're gonna eat, and it is six o'clock. So I think I'm gonna let her eat dinner, and uh, I don't know. I guess maybe. Okay, I, th I think what I'm gonna do. I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm trying to decide what am I going to do? <laughs> because I'm, I'm at this dilemma here where I'm not level five in the military career yet. So I doubt I'll have access to the secret lab. But I think tonight what we'll do after she eats, once it gets a little bit dark, is we will go to the secret lab. Um, maybe I need to change her. Can I do that? Does she have... Um, if I go to MC Dresser, can I change her outfit? Does she have... Is her, yeah, we can change her into her work wear. Kind of disguise herself, you know, as a military personnel, which obviously we are. So nobody is suspicious of us. And just kind of like dig around there. I'm guessing that's something that we need to do. They said to visit there. Um, I don't think that we'll, probably won't find out a lot because we don't have a key card access. Um, and then maybe tomorrow when we wake up, we can go to the library and kind of see you know, what the scientists are saying, and just, just kind of like snoop around. You guys, I'm just kind of going with the flow here. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. All right, so it's almost 8 o'clock, which is kind of still daylight, but I don't want to come too late because, I mean, it looks like there's nobody even here. This is, why does it look so deserted? But before I do anything else, I kind of want to like scope around because, like I said, I have not really seen any of this yet. I've been trying to avoid spoilers, but... Here is all these strange plants, and it looks like they're kind of closed off. I don't think we can get to those, but we can take pictures. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. I don't know. Do I want to take a picture? He said keep your distance. Um, is there anything else for us to do around here? Um, oh, what is this? Oh, looks like somebody has, like, they had a wreck. <laughs> um I don't, I don't know. Why does this place look so deserted? I thought that there would be people here. That's why I disguised myself. So she is in her military outfit. So I guess, I mean, I guess what we need to do is come in. Um, so we can examine this door, which I'm assuming this is what we need the key, key card or key pass or whatever it is. Um, so maybe people are down there. Oh yeah, there's something going on down there, but I doubt we can get in, but we're going to, you know, kind of examine it, try to figure out what it is that we need. Um, I guess we can kind of, I mean, can we not search for evidence? Can we not do anything? Did I just come here for nothing? Y'all, I'm lost. Why can't I search for evidence? Do I not have the skills? Why are you declining me? I'm just trying to, to find out what's going on. Okay, wait, so... Oh, we have already leveled up. So, <laughs> we're on level two of our aspiration. So, what we need to do now... 
Oh wait, it says the door is locked. It looks like it requires a key card. Yeah, someone around town might know how to get one. Before leaving, poke around the secret lab to gather more information. New notebook entry added. But anyways, like I was saying, we have already leveled up to two of our aspiration here, which we need to compile a Strangerville secret dossier. Collect evidence throughout Stranger Building. Click on it in your Sims inventory to compile a dozier. Okay. Open the seal door in the secret lab and gather 15 pieces of evidence. Okay, so I guess maybe now, there we go. Now that we have examined the door, we have access to kind of snoop around here and get some evidence. Aaron found Strangerville evidence, suspiciously blurred photo. Alright, so let's go on in here and see where, what else we can snoop around. Um, Alright, so we have found an encrypted USB device. A skilled programmer might be able to decrypt it. It can be found in your Sam's inventory. We have no skill in programming, so I may have to do that as well. <laughs> or find somebody that could help us, but I don't know if we can like give it to them and say, Hey, can you help us out? We may have to kind of level up ourselves. This might be a lot harder than I thought it was going to be because I have no skills to do any of this stuff. We found a packet of mysterious seeds. Oh, I wonder if it's the crazy stuff that, or the crazy plants. I wonder if we could like plant them ourselves. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to take Erwin's advice. I really am going to try to stay away from them. <laughs> We found another encrypted USB device. Okay, so all that stuff that we found, we have it in our inventory here. So before, it looks like before we can create a dossier, I guess I'm saying that right, guys. Sorry if I'm not. Um, we need to give a key card or get a key card. So I, I'm pretty sure I have looked everything, um, all the evidence here that I could find. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and travel home because, yeah, she's trying to, like, take a nap. So, she's super tired. Let's go ahead and get her home. It is Sunday tomorrow, so we don't have to work. Um, but, I think, um, I think I'm going to save tomorrow for another video. <laughs> because, I know this is kind of, it can go by fast if I was to, like, drag this out to where it's, like, oh, 30, 35 minutes long. But, I don't want to do that. I kind of want to take my time exploring it. I kind of want to focus on, you know... Erin and her story a little bit just you know kind of play along with her too I don't imagine that she would you know learn everything in one day so I'm gonna take my time a little bit with it I'm not gonna drag it out too much don't worry but um, I do want to you know take my time so I'm gonna have her come in here and go to sleep and well I guess you guys I guess <laughs> since we're gonna go ahead and go to sleep I guess we can call part one a wrap and then stay tuned for part two. I will post it tomorrow or the next day. I don't know what my little schedule is going to be for Strangerville. I imagine that I will upload it twice a week. But we will see. Just stay tuned once I make up my mind. Kind of tweak my upload schedule. I can figure that out and let you know. But I hope you guys are excited about this little mini series. I know that a lot of people are doing mini series and especially when you're a small YouTuber and simmer it, you kind of get lost in the big crowd because you're not very popular. And I know a lot of us are kind of, you know, exploring it on our own, but if you kind of want to follow Erin's journey and get to know her a little bit and you know, have fun with me, you know, I hope that you continue to check back and keep up with this series, but with any but, um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> With that being said, thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, and I love y'all, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.